our service of morning prayer begins on page 79 of the Book of Common Prayer. God is in his holy temple, but all the earth keeps silence. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship God in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us worship. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with a song and raise a loud shout to God with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great ruler above all gods. In God's hands are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are God's also. The sea is God's, for God made it, and God's hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker, for God is our God. And we are the people of God's pasture and the sheep of God's hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to God's voice. Worship God in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us worship. The Psalms this morning are 134 and 135, beginning on page 787 of the Book of Common Prayer. God's mercy is everlasting. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Give praise, you servants of the Lord, you who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises to his name, for it is lovely. The Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord God is above all gods. The Lord does whatever he pleases him in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all the deeps. He brings up rain clouds from the ends of the earth. He sends out lightning with the rain and brings the winds out of his storehouse. It was he who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, the firstborn both of man and beast. He sent signs and wonders into the midst of you, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. He overthrew many nations and put mighty kings to death. Sion, king of the Amorites, and Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He gave their land to be an inheritance, an inheritance for Israel, his people. O Lord, your name is everlasting. Your renown, O Lord, endures from age to age. For the Lord gives his people justice and shows compassion to his servants. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes have they, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Neither is there any breath in their mouth. Those who make them are like them. 
and so are all who put their trust in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. O house of Aaron, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. You who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, who dwells in Jerusalem, hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God's mercy is everlasting. reading from the book of Micah. Hear this, you rulers of the house of Jacob and chiefs of the house of Israel who abhor justice and pervert all equity, who build Zion with blood and Jerusalem with wrong. Its rulers give judgment for a bribe, its priests teach for a price, its prophets give oracles for money, yet they lean upon the Lord and say, surely the Lord is with us, no harm shall come upon us. Therefore, because of you, Zion shall be plowed as a field, Jerusalem shall become a heap of ruins, and the mountain of the house a wooded height. In the days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains, and shall be praised up above the hills. People shall stream to it, and many nations shall come and say, Let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between many peoples and shall arbitrate between strong nations far away. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hilts. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But they all shall sit under their own vines and under their own fig trees, and no one shall make them afraid. For the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. For all the peoples walk, each in the name of its God, but we will walk in the name of the Lord our God forever and ever. Here ends the reading. Let us pray together Canticle 10, Query Te Dominum, beginning on page 86 of the Book of Common Prayer. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion and to our God where he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. For your ways, my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that for which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some days later, when Felix came with his wife Drusilla, who was Jewish, he sent for Paul and heard him speak concerning faith in Christ. And as he discussed justice, self-control, and the coming judgment, Felix became frightened and said, Go away for the present. When I have an opportunity, I will send for you. At the same time, he hoped that money would be given to him by Paul, and for that reason he used to send for him every often and converse with him. After two years had passed, Felix was succeeded by Porcius Festus, and since he wanted to grant the Jews a favor, Felix left Paul in prison. Three days after Festus had arrived in the province, he went up from Caesarea to Jerusalem, where the chief priest and the leaders of the Jews gave him a report against Paul. They appealed it to him and requested as a favor to them against Paul to have him transferred to Jerusalem. They were, in fact, planning an ambush to kill him along the way. Festus replied that Paul was being kept at Caesarea and that he himself intended to go there shortly. So he said, let those of you who have the authority come down with me, and if there is anything wrong about the man, let them accuse him. 
After he had stayed among them for not more than eight or ten days, he went down to Caesarea. The next day he took his seat on the tribunal and ordered Paul to be brought. When he arrived, the Jews who had gone down from Jerusalem surrounded him, bringing many serious charges against him, which they could not prove. Paul said in his defense, I have in no way committed an offense against the law of the Jews or against the temple or against the emperor. But Festus, wishing to do the Jews a favor, asked Paul, do you wish to go up to Jerusalem and be tried there before me on these charges? Paul said, I am appealing to the emperor's tribunal. This is where I should be tried. I have done no wrong to the Jews, as you know very well. Now, if I am in the wrong and have committed something for which I deserve to die, I am not trying to escape death. But if there is nothing to their charges against me, no one can turn me over to them. I appeal to the emperor. Then Festus, after he had conferred with his counsel, replied, you have appealed to the emperor, and to the emperor you will go. Here ends the reading. Let us pray together, Canticle 15, the Magnificat beginning on page 91 of the Book of Common Prayer. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit, he has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant, Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. reading from the Gospel of Luke. One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to eat with him. And when he went into the Pharisee's house and took his place at the table, a woman in the city who was a sinner, having learned that he was eating in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster jar of ointment. She stood behind him at his feet, weeping, and began to bathe his feet with her tears and to dry them with her hair. Then she continued kissing his feet and anointing them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what kind of woman this is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Jesus spoke up and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. Teacher, he replied, Speak. A certain creditor had two debtors, one owed five hundred denarii and the other fifty. When they could not pay, he canceled the debts for both of them. Now which of them will love him more? Simon answered, I suppose the one for whom he canceled the greater debt. And Jesus said to him, You have judged rightly. Then turning towards the woman, he said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has bathed my feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came in, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I tell you, her sins, which were many, have been forgiven. Hence she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is given loves little. Then he said to her, Your sins are forgiven. But those who were at the table with him began to say among themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? And he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Here ends the reading. Let's pray together. Canticle 20, Gloria in Excelsis, beginning on page 94 of the Book of Common Prayer. 
Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. I believe in God the Father, Almighty Maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Blessed God, whose Son Jesus came as servant to all, we thank you for William Bliss and Richard Ely, whose dedication to the commonweal through economic justice led them to be bold reformers of the world and the church. And we pray that we with them may find your, our true happiness through self-sacrifice and service of your reign. Where all the hungry are fed and the downtrodden are raised up, through Jesus Christ our liberator, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you, Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Dear God, we pray for your holy church, for all who minister in her. For all bishops, priests, deacons, pastors, parsons, all capable leading service at this time. Dear God, we pray for all the nations of this world. We pray for all those in authority. May they be guided to just and moral decisions through your love and your wisdom. We pray for fair, open, honest elections. Dear God, we pray for the poor, the sick, the homeless, the hungry, the needy, for those in prison. We pray, pray for the unemployed and those facing financial insecurity. We pray. We pray for those suffering from COVID-19 and those concerned about it. We pray for Janie, Fred, Mana, Esther, Johnny, Shepard, John, Lindsay, Lucille. We pray for the souls of all the departed. We pray for all who have passed away from COVID-19. We pray for George, Brianna, Ahmad, Richard, Elijah. Daniel, a seemingly never-ending list of people, of your beloved children, who have died 
been killed, been murdered, been executed because of racial bias, bigotry, hatred, or indifference. We pray for Richard, Dorothy, Kelly. We pray for all victims of violence throughout the world. To God, we pray for the concerns of this community, for all those we hold dear in our heart. We pray for Polly, Shirley, Shawnee, the Harris family. Phyllis, Tom, Louis, Cardi, Kevin, Tara, David, Tricia, Jen, Salvatore, Juliana, Rob and his family, Helen, Shania, Dog, Prim, Doug, London, Eddie, Donald, Carol, Juan. We pray for those suffering from addiction. May they maintain their sobriety. We pray for those estranged from family and loved ones. May the love of Christ join them together. And we pray that we, under the grace of God, with the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, may join together in love, kindness, and gratitude and form a time of rebirth and recovery. And dear God, we give you thanks for all the blessings of this life, for each and everything you do for us every single day. We give thanks for our community here at All Saints. We thank you for our interim rector, Beth, our music director, Bill, our office administrator, Augustine. We give thanks for our Saturday morning food program, praying to you for those who are fed by it and praying that this ministry may begin again soon. We give thanks for the San Francisco health care home. We pray for those who live there and pray that this ministry also may begin again soon. We thank you for the 100th birthday of Willard Harris and the baptism of Perivi. And we give you thanks for this wonderful, marvelous gift of creation. May we become faithful stewards of this great gift. For whom and for what else shall we pray? Let us join together all our prayers in the general thanksgiving found on page 101 of the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>